health check for St. Lucia as the island's chief medical officer, Dr. Sharon Belmar George, delved into the 2023 health status of the nation. In her look back at 2023, Dr. Belmar George noted a drastic reduction in the number of COVID-19 cases. With the worst of the pandemic seemingly in the past, the CMO focused her attention on more concerning trends that reared their ugly heads in 2023. The Ministry of Health noted a significant increase in dengue fever in 2023 compared to 2022. However, outbreak levels were not attained. This increase in cases was consistent with that observed in the neighboring island of Martinique. The majority of the cases were diagnosed in the south of the island, particularly in Fufort. We recorded one severe malaria case, which was imported. To date, there has been no local transmission of malaria cases. A total of eight cases of leptospirosis, all male, were reported in 2023. This represents a 14% increase over last year. While some diseases continued to pose a challenge, others showed encouraging declines. There were 26 new cases of HIV diagnosed in 2023, which represents a 32% decrease from 2022. 65% of the cases were male. There are currently 992 persons living with HIV in St. Lucia, of which 57% are male. The CMO said unfavorable lifestyle choices, rising violence, and more motor vehicle accidents continue to strain the hospital system and blood bank resources. Chronic non-communicable diseases continue to be a significant source of mortality in St. Lucia, with cancers, cerebrovascular diseases, strokes, heart disease and diabetes mellitus dominating as the top four causes of death respectively for the last 10 years. Males are counting for 56% of all deaths in 2020. Cancers account for one in every five deaths as about 20% in 2020. For men, prostate cancer and for women, breast cancer. Despite this, Males are losing more of their potential benefit to society due to assault, land transport accidents, and chronic lower respiratory diseases, specifically COPD, due to smoking. Females are losing more of their potential to society due to cancer, that is breast and cervical cancer in particular, and perinatal conditions specific to newborns. In 2023, the health sector faced setbacks due to unprecedented closures and diversions of health facilities caused by environmental quality concerns. Despite these challenges, Dr. George remains optimistic about the prospects of 2024. We are working to determine the causes and to address these issues to reduce the breaks in service access and provide healthy and safe environments for our healthcare workers and our patients. Twelve smart health facilities are scheduled to be set up during 2024. The opening of the Cashries Urban Polyclinic will address and improve access to care in the north and central zone of the island and reduce the utilization of the OKEU for non-emergency services. The recent opening of the secondary care facility at the Old Victoria Hospital should address the bed shortage issues at OKEU. Health officials aim to ensure a healthier nation in 2024 and beyond by promoting preventative measures like adopting healthy lifestyles, early detection and screening. Solish Alfred, HTS News Force.